drilling a hole in that new roof, are you, Roy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that e extra strap down. So good morning everyone on this cold Tuesday morning clock went back clocks the clocks went back at the weekend and it's now officially cold so um, actually it was a bit colder yesterday it's not as cold this morning so welcome along to another weekly MX5 Restorer update let's have a look what's going on that we've got for this week uh, so we've got this mark one in I think this one's just having can belt and water pump it's got a noisy water pump on it still waiting for the steering rack to come in the s limited i think yes um we sold uh 11 000 mile arctic at the weekend so we've just got to do um an under seal on this and customer's going to come and pick it up on saturday they seem very happy, and they should be because it is it is a really nice car. What else have we got? So, ah, yes, uh, this this Mark Two Point Five belongs to a good customer of ours. Um, it's come in to have the. We did the seals in it a very long time ago, and it looks like it's got um, a, an issue in the the sort of jacking points inside. They weren't done at the time, but I say it was done quite a long time ago so we've got to just go on the jacking point side and cut them open and see what's what uh, this one has this one arrived on a trailer uh, supercharged got an ECU in it and I think it had a voltage spike problem uh, which possibly may have taken the ECU out and we've got another ECU but what I'm doing on this before we start it up is I'm putting a mark 1 1.8 alternator on it where the voltage regulation is part of the alternator so just gets rid of eliminates the potential problem of putting the new ECU in trying to start it up and then there's a problem with the voltage so um, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that before we do any work on that one um, I think that's uh, this one's just arrived mark 3 this was just going in for an MOT nothing really big on that one so let's go and see Let's go and see the guys. Uh, yeah, it's cold now, so the roller shutter's down. There's a gap at the bottom. Oh, otherwise, we end up trying to heat the outside. There they are. I'm hard at work. You drilling, drilling a hole in that new roof, are you, Roy? Yeah. <laughs> well, that e extra strap down. Yeah. Right, that's the uh, strap on the Mark 2s and 2.5 that Roy's just doing there. Yeah, especially forgot to do it. So, uh, yeah. Let's get a little action shot. It's a bit dark around here. Put the lights on. Need to get some more LED bulbs, yeah, don't do really. so, I? Put... How are you, Chris? Cold. I've just been cold. standing out in the car park doing like what's going on. <laughs> it is cold. So yeah, that strap just goes there. From the roof, just bolts onto the frame there. Stops this bit from going flat, 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 flat. Right. Yeah, so it's under the roof fitted yesterday. Um, finishing it off now. Um, and then carrying about water pump. Quite a nice easy one, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. I'll have it done by one time. So. What are you on after that? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you might be, you might be putting some floor rails on that, aren't you? Secret ones. Yeah. That's, um, so basically, we've got um, for everyone that owns an MX-5, especially Mark Ones, um, well, mainly Mark Ones, really, um, the floor rails at the bottom get crushed, and either they've been jacked up on, and we've just 
literally designed a new floor rail panel front to rear where you remove the existing box section and put the new one on. So they're prototype ones at the moment, but Roy is mounting them on his car, isn't he? I am. Well, one side at the moment. One side. He will have the other side, but we just want to make sure that they... We've held them up and they look they look good. Um, they're also thicker, so they will stiffen the car up a bit as well. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, All right. I, I don't know what I'm one up with, so we'll see. It's all up in the air at the moment. Right. Yeah, all right. No Cheers, Roy. Right. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Hi. What are you drinking there? Coffee. Right. I have my coffee. Roy's got his coffee. Ashley's got his coffee. I don't drink coffee or tea, so I don't get made any drinks in the workshop. We're not going to make you a Ribena, <laughs> no, I don't drink. I don't drink Ribena. It's too much sugar. Ribena light's okay. Can't have it because you make you a hyper, does I'm it? I'm more of a cherries and berries man. Cherries and berries man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one, do you want to explain what you've done on this? Uh, I've done some rust repairs, Chris. No, but this, this was quite bad, wasn't it? So this is on a Blue Mark 1. This, this is actually the... Oh, if I bring you around, this is actually the accident damage one we featured in a couple of videos ago where we pulled the front end out and repaired it. The, the customer had a, a rusty steel and Ashley's rebuilt it. So we had to rebuild. What did you have to do on the in 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 the there? The inner upright was just gone. It was. It was I, I took this car over from another member of staff and it had all been chopped out, so it was sort of rebuild it. Scratch. You've done a good job. Oh, thanks. So what are you left, left to do now? Uh, I've got to rebuild this bit of the lip and I've got to do the jacking point, the box section at the back and the end plate repair and obviously the outer. Get, get a panel on. See some paint work and prep. And You'll probably have it all welded up today, won't you? I think you will. <laughs> cool. Depends if I need a nap or not. Depends if you need a nap. Oh, the clocks, would you do sleep at the weekend then? Did you put the clocks forward? No, just... I'm just stuck on that. All right, cheers, Ash. So I am on the Project Monaco. Um, I've mentioned it quite a few times, what we're doing with this, with this car. So welding's done. Well, welding's not done. I've got to... Found a hole yesterday, which I've got to do. Cleaned it up for an underseal. Um, there it is there warming so yeah I'll get that under seal today a few other bits and pieces and then get it stripped for paint so if you want to see more info on this there is a separate video All right, let's go and see Jim I'm just getting an action shot Oh. <laughs> you talk to us, Jim. Um, quite an easy one, this one, I suppose. Nice low level seal replacement. Yeah. Um, there was a little bit of the inner seal under here which I'd make a plate for and replace. Um, and there was a little bit up here on the end plate that needed doing. But other yeah. than that, made that out of a piece of sheet. Like, could have used a panel. Kind of uh, it was on. It was on the board. On the it was on the borderline of where we can sort of stretch a, a handmade seal repair. Keeps the cost down, and we've done the same thing. It's only. It's it's only a real problem if it sort of comes a bit too high up here, and then it goes up there as well. I don't think the shape came out that. No, that's right. Um, and then you just got to put a panel on the other side, haven't yeah, you? And then the same sort of thing on the other side. Um, and then you got chassis rails as well, haven't you? Yeah, the chassis rails. Usual problems with Mark Twos. You got a hammer to hand. <coughs> Customers like to see holes. Customers, viewers, people, the people at home, and see how.
can see it's blown, it's also blown there. Gone, but still semi-solid. There is two skins there. Yeah, so these, these, these are being done. Oh, there you go. Oh. There's, there's the hole. There we go. They'll be happy now. Satisfying now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so then that's that's what you're doing on this one, isn't it? Yeah, and then I think that's it, Chris. It's just body work. Cool. Alright. And that'll be a wrap. Cool. Cheers, Jim. That's Chris. So that's what's going on. We're still, I, I didn't get around last week to putting the red one back together, but I am on it this week. Um, the one that's been for a respray. Um, yeah, just got some things happened towards the end of last week and just got a bit busy, didn't, couldn't get onto it, but I am definitely onto it this week. So that's what's going on in the workshop. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified of when videos are being coming up. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.